Okay guys, so this will be part two of the beginner, beginner, beginner's uh, wood spirit carving. So I had some time to, uh, if this is a new video for you, we're using the Dremel 4000 with the Cutsaw Extreme Flame Burr 1 8. You guys, if you want to get these Cutsaw Burrs, just go to the link below. We'll take you to the Cutsaw site, use the code CFusion, you should save yourself 5%. Okay, so I've had time to sit back, relax, and uh, look at this piece and see where I want to put the features, okay? So today, we're going to do the eyebrows, the nostril, the mouth, and hopefully we'll have time to get to the eyes, so less talking for this video, more carving. So I like my wood spirits to have, this guy's going to have an open mouth. I, don't, I didn't know which way I want to make his lip, like if I want it going this way or this way. You can make it straight across too, guys. But I think I want to kind of go this way. Um, so all the wind is going this way, right? So let's start off with the mouth. Okay, we'll get we'll do the mouth, the nostrils next, then um, the eyebrows. Okay, so cutting in the mouth. Let me zoom in here a bit. Cutting in the mouth can be really hard on your flex shaft. So don't get this bird jammed up inside here. Be very careful cutting because you got to cut deep inside here right okay so let's get let's get to it just let the tool do the work when you're carving deep inside here guys okay so now let's cut the bottom of the lipo See how I cut that and I feathered all this wood away? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly change my burrs to this other extreme taper burr. So, okay, put the new one in, pull it out just a little bit. Put your burrs tight to your collets, guys. So now, I'm going to cut in here to separate the lip from the mustache, okay? So this is a thinner burr. Same on the other side. We'll clean this up later, but now you can see the lip isn't attached to the mustache. It's separated. The mustache is separate from the lip. It doesn't ride up there. Okay, so the mouth is pretty well done. Now let's do the nostril, uh, nostrils. Let me switch to my other burr. Okay, so I already had the lines drawn on. So you guys want to try and make them like uh, as equal to each other as possible, right? So it's hard to do here because I'm zoomed in. So let's see here. Okay, so now you got all this extra wood here. Now we want to remove this wood. We'll clean that up later. Another thing I want to point out here too, guys, let me zoom back out. This mustache is so far off from the lip. See how high it is there? Let's remove some of that wood and bring it closer to the uh, closer to the lip. Okay, let's take this mustache down here. 
and it'll also make your nose stick out farther too. This guy's got a huge nose, but we can take that nose down later. So let's remove some of this wood. Same on the other side. Okay, now let's make this mustache sink down in a bit here in the center and then we'll feather it out so it kind of gives it a more, a more rounder effect kind of. Feather it out on this side and then feather it out on the other side. Okay, so now let's cut his nostrils in. What I do with this burr, it's a perfect shape for a nostril, so I cut up and under, okay? Zoom in here. Okay, other side. Okay, so now we got our nostrils cut in there, see? Now I'm just going to slightly bend the shape of this side of the nostril. Sorry guys, slightly give it a shape here. As a, like it's a nostril. Not much. Okay, so let's give this a bit of cut in here. Now let's stop for a second and take a look at this piece. Okay guys, so you see here the nose is taking better shape. Okay, it's not such so big anymore because I cut it all down inside here to bring the nostrils out, right? And sorry if I went off uh, camera, off, I went off screen filming a bit there, but it's kind of hard to do when you're zooming in. So let's uh, cut his eyebrows in now, okay? And then we can make his forehead not so slanted from his eyebrows, right? So we'll cut that, not too deep, guys. You don't want to have huge, like, uh, I don't know, Oscar the Grouch eyebrows. So we'll cut the eyebrows in. We'll, so we'll do a cut here, and we'll remove some wood here. And then uh, I think we're almost about at getting to the eyes, if we have time, because they take a while. Okay, so I'm just going to cut on the outside of these lines, not too deep, guys. Gurdeep says don't carve too deep for the eyebrows. Now we'll split the eyebrows here. Now we'll feather away all this wood. We'll take away all this wood here. Take a look at your piece from the side. Now we want to round our eyebrows to like so it's not such a square cut here. We just kind of want to smooth them up. Smooth everything off kind of. And you want to try and remove your pen marks. That will let you know that you've hit that part, right? I like to give my eyebrows more like a kind of like a Japanese Oni guy. But you guys will make your eyebrows the way you want to make your eyebrows, right?
Okay, guys, so let's give him some cheekbones. So I don't know what, his cheekbones are going to be lower. It doesn't matter to me, really. You don't have to make him too deep. It's cut. You move wood down here below the cut. Okay, I better stop before I get too carried away. So now we'll stop and we're gonna work on the eyes, but we'll look at this guy for a second. Okay guys, so this is another time where you just sit back and you look at your carving, you stare at it and you figure, you know, his face has gone a little bit thin here, but that's okay. On the depth side, the forehead's good. Let's get a side view of this. Okay, nose sticks out farther. See what I'm talking about, that triangle point? Okay, so it goes like this way, then this way from the first video. So I got the eyes drawn on here and the eyes, there's so many different ways to do this. This eye is a little bit bigger than this eye. But guys, there's so many different ways to do eyes and I'm not really, I shouldn't really be showing how I do my eyes because, well, I'm not the best at them. So, but I want to give another shout out to... Uh, chainsaw carver he's a carver that um, I really I look up to him he's a pro chainsaw carver but he has a good video on doing eyes it's a chainsaw carving he does a Sasquatch eyes but he really shows how to make the eyes look pretty cool uh, it's Ryan Cook carves I'll try to remember to leave a link to his video below here but if you guys want to check out that video how he does eyes I'm gonna try and make these eyes like how he does his eyes so let's uh, just get to it and I guess um, yeah, try and get these eyes done. Okay, guys, so with the eyes, you got to remember like it's a huge ball. The eyes is just a big, like a golf ball in, in here, right? So what our first move want to be, we want to try and make it round, this piece look kind of get round, right? So I don't freaking know. Okay, so let's just uh, get started here. Okay, so let's zoom in. So we'll just, I'll try and film one eye. So I got this less aggressive cut salt taper burr on here. Okay. So let's just start carving. Now I'm going to cut underneath the eyebrow. Okay, so let me do the same thing to the other eye and then I'll be back. Because I'm going to have to move this around and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to keep it on, on uh, camera. Okay, so I got them both cut in. So now we want to try and make this piece look round in here, I guess. Maybe, sort of. And this is when you really take your time, guys. Like, don't be in a rush to do eyes. I gotta move this around. Okay, so I got this one done kind of and I'll clean it up and let's get the I'll get the other one done too. 
Okay guys, so I got them rounded off. There's always, anyways, I got them rounded off the best I could, okay? So now let's, we have to do eyelashes, eyelids. So what's that uh, part called? My problem is I've been bringing them straight down, but let's bring it up down from here, this point. Okay, and this one too. Uh, t tear ducts, I think they're called. So like I said in Ryan's in Ryan's video where he did eyes guys he uses the Dremel uh, cutter like a triangle shaped one like this from Dremel but this is uh this is like a aluminum cutting bit so his bur when he uses his burr it cuts it burns at the same time as it cuts so it leaves a good effect so I don't know let's try this Not too deep, guys. Not too deep. Okay. Now let's give him a little bit of a bottom eyelid. Same with the other side. Okay, so you see that? Now let's try and round this off inside here, a ball inside of a ball. Really gentle, guys. You're always going to have that one part of the eye that's really tricky to get to. Okay. So let me pause for a second. Okay guys, so I can see that these eyes are two different sizes. But it's okay. You get my point. So I got these drawn on here, these pupils. This guy's going to be looking straight forward. So that, like Ryan says in his video, it's very important to know which direction you want to have your eyes looking. Because, you know, you can have one eye on today and one eye on tomorrow, right? So let's just, uh, we got this same triangle cutter on here. Let's cut really deep inside here. Okay guys, so that's what I came up with the eyes. It's just so hard to do. They're so small and lighting's very important. Like I got this light here to swing around, but lighting's so important to do what have when you're doing the eyes or any detail carving like this. So now we got to use this bit too, and we got to put our pupils in, right? So I'll do that next. Okay, I just got pen marks on there. It's going to be hard for you guys to see because I'm going to be like this, right? So let's give this a try. Okay, it's always about practicing and challenging yourself, guys. You know, like it's just, I don't know if this is my first time really trying these type eyes. I don't know if they're going to turn out, but let's have a look. Okay, so they're not that clean. I could clean up in here a bit, but they say what they are. It shows their eyes, right? So let me see how long this video is and see if we can start doing some detailing on the... Um, Oh yeah, what do we have to do next? Let me think. That's right, Jordy, drink more coffee. Ah. Uh.
So I'm going to cut along these lines with my cut sole extreme flame burr to give him age lines under his eyes. Ice. I'll cut there and I'll feather this out a bit. Not much, right? Okay, so if you look at the left, the left eye is bigger than the right eye. So another video I watched, I forget who mentioned it, but the problem people have with eyes usually for beginning carvers, wood carvers, is they make the eyes too big. So this eye is obviously bigger than this eye, but I personally like this eye better because it's not as big as this eye, but it doesn't matter. Guys, so, okay, frick, whatever. And you can see... With his pupils, you can see with his pupils, he's not looking directly straight at you. He's kind of looking this way. See? It's because I didn't carve this, I didn't carve him direct on. So anyways, what we're going to do now, we got this aluminum cutter, cutting bit. You guys can get these in my Amazon store. We're going to run this on edge. We're going to give him eyebrows. We're going to cut age lines in the head. Now we'll do the age lines next video. We're going to give them eyebrows and underneath the uh, eye age lines, okay? Okay, so let's start off with the eyebrows. You don't want to make the eyebrows go up. This way you want to give them, make them go this way, right? The eyebrow hairs, sorry. So what I do is I run my, I run my Dremel and I let it roll off. I start below, beneath, and then I let it roll off. You'll see, like I'll let the bird do the work. Okay, now I flip it around, upside down now, and I still let the bird do the work, I let the bird roll off. See how I got, I got two hands on my hand piece now, so it, it won't take off, right, so I can control it. Okay, run around, clean him up a bit. There's his eyebrows, and now let's do the, and I let the tool do the work too for the, under the, uh, sorry, the age lines. Now don't get carried away when you're doing this. It's easy to get carried away, keep going, but now I'm done. So let's look at it. Okay, so there's his eyebrows and his age lines under his eyes. So you guys, I'm gonna have to end this video now. We'll have to make one more video on uh, doing all the, the mustache hairs, the beard hairs, and the hair hairs. And remember, everything's gonna be flowing this way with the wind, right? Whoosh. Okay, so I hope this video could help you with the eyes and all the other stuff we did in this video. And I got to edit it. And you guys, if you want to support this channel, I have a PayPal link below. Buy me a coffee or whatever you want to do. You could buy a t-shirt, my Teespring uh, account. Or you could be a member on this channel for like two bucks a month. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. Okay, bye.